right, play. All right, play. And that quick Yeah. 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 And two people, men and women, right, play. went to the park. No animals on it. Mm -hmm. the park and they mm -hmm. And Zeus took Something fishy about all that. So, the survived was I play it. And they survived. <laughs> and okay. Adam and Eve gave birth to a new human race. Okay, it's kind of... Like they're mixing things. Hey. Oh, it's not popcorn. And guess who overthrew Zeus and took over his throne? Yeah. Jesus. I... Jesus came down yeah. and took. Brittany, Brittany Carl was my best friend at my fifth birthday with Cheryl Kill and Tony Page. Vita, yeah. old man. The what? There's Cheryl. Cheryl, cool. Cool. Starting Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Peter. Jerk does. It's funny, but it's got some not very good. Three hours? Yeah. Next picture. Uh oh, here's one she'll like. Dizzy and her dog shots, so she's a roller, rock roller. I admit she's a wonderful dog with you know. Yeah. What one? I sure like that one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yep. Junior. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I caught that at the top, yeah. The same guy who played uh, Bad News Bears.
Get the coach. A picture of her baby. Huh. I think yeah. I've heard of that before. Yeah. Well, we have to. How long is it? Oh, available until 3 7. When do you want to see that? You can see it anytime you want to. We'll see it later. You want to see it now? If you want to see something else, that's up to you. Well, we can watch it if you want to. Uh, I guess we can get it. Channel one, where channel three is, go down to Hold channel on, one. Hold on, folks. I gotta do something with Tommy. Since he did the cleaning up, all the programs, and Tommy told us which one to delete. Right now it's running smooth, and then Donna used the computer. Then we used the computer. Now he wants to look up history from back when. Dad videos in it. Yeah. Gotta watch his language when he is. Yeah. Adult, adult language is what it says. It's kind of bad. I'm sure that means something. It's a Google thing. Nicholas Caponius for the new birthday. <laughs> astronomy through the eyes of a new modern astronomer. That's what I was thinking. Nobody's there. Moses is with oh, Come on, man. Is Sophia tonight. Oh, little wimp. Thank you yet for everything you did tonight. Um, not in the last 30 seconds. Look at that. I was alive. 
It's not an easy thing to do. What, what, what do I want to do? I'm supposed to call you, send a postcard, nothing, nothing felt right. Yes, Dad. It seemed... It seemed like a good idea. You know, that I could have this job and I could, I could watch you from a distance and you wouldn't notice me until you were behind the bar, then you would see me standing there. And then I saw you... Staying at the Genoa Inn. Why don't you meet me there? I can't. Not tonight. What, what about tomorrow? Just you know, name the place. I'll, I'll be there. Please, Avery. Please. There's so much that we need to talk about. Like this. I found this in the bar. Feel your hands again. Well, it was packed tonight. Yeah. Gotta say, you crushed it. We did. We crushed it. I couldn't have done it without my leading lady. Hey, you're shaking. Are you all right? I think it's just from all the excitement. You look a little pale to me. I'm gonna take you home. Okay. Can you close up, bud? Yeah, we, we can take care of it. Okay, I'll call you later. Okay. You ready? Yes, it's been a very long night. said exactly 14 words on the drive home. Usually you'll rattle off like 114 before taking a breath. I'm sorry, Nick. What's wrong? I'm just not feeling very well. you home. No, I didn't want to run your big night. Can I do something? I'll take you to the doctor, no. run to the pharmacy. No, no, I'm just, I'm so tired. I think this trip to Milwaukee and then the party, I think I just need to sleep. Okay. I'll leave you. Okay. But I'll be back in the morning to check on you. Okay. Thanks for everything.
Young and the Restless. Poor Tyler. The players got a crush on the gorgeous girl at work. If I care about the money, you know who else does? Guys who really don't know how to play nice. You don't get to hold me and talk to me. How, how else should I talk to you when I'm in love with you? Hey, what's up? Joshua Morrow here. Uh, just welcoming uh, everyone to CBS. I've got a very cool job today. I get to welcome uh, what's considered to be a very big deal in the daytime world, Steve Burton to the show. They picked me because, you know, I'm kind of a big deal around here and I know all the ins and outs of CBS. So uh, I look forward to meeting him. I never have. And uh, let's hope he brings something good to our show. So just kind of waiting for him. I don't know where he is, but uh, he was supposed to be here at least 10 minutes ago, I don't know. Steve! Steve! Hey! Hey! Oh, he's here. Look, this could be exciting. Hey, welcome, man. Thanks. Welcome. Uh, I, I hope you're okay with this, but I just wanted to kind of take it upon myself to kind of show you the ins and outs of CBS. Feel. Sure, yeah. yeah. No, I love it, yeah. Good. The artist entrance, I don't use that because I'm not an artist. This is the pimp entrance. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you in today and that. Yeah. This is how we welcome good. Oh, no. You could get one of these. Uh, I don't think they're gonna give you one yet. Hold on, this, we'll is the best, this is the best thing I've seen all day. No, no, no it's not for you. Wait. Dude, don't ever touch that. Get out. See? That's not good. So how are we going to get it? Hold on, I got, I got a lot of connections right here. See? Oh, if man. you ever come in here, you might need that's, me. But... That's great. Come on. What's going on? Do you want to get a dressing room? It's funny you say. Your, your dressing room is right here. Um, <laughs> we're... Dude, that's... We're working on it right now. We're gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna make it all your own. I'm gonna change that. I actually have them crafting something right now. It actually says the Steve Burton. It's kind of like a little personal touch I did for you. Yeah. I don't know how they did it on General Hospital, but there can be some downtime. So to kind of make yourself useful, use some of these items. You know. Yeah. yeah. Good. Let me get those. He's already. He's see that? Not his first water. day. I get some water in my dressing room. Let me see this. Hold on. Is that good? Yeah. This is root down. <laughs> Jesus, Steve. Come on. What are you, not, what what are you doing? We're trying to lower our carbon footprint. We turn off the lights in this uh, right Yeah, here. but how far is your dressing room? Do you have to walk? Um, it's funny you say that. I have pretty much the best parking spot in the whole building. Here, and my dressing room is right here. Come on in, Steve. I'll show you how, uh, wow. I'll show you how daddy lives. Here we go. Here's my room. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. Shower? I have a shower with wood floor. What? Oh my gosh. Yep. Are you kidding me? Yep. I have many towels. So one, uh, one to match my eyes and another to match my wardrobe in case right. you don't feel it's very important. Me. Yeah. And this one, this one's for my feet. Do you like towels for your feet? Hey, come on. Let me show you the hair and makeup room. A lot of people spend a lot of time here. I don't because I just don't need it. Here's where the magic happens. Everyone, I would like to introduce you to Steve Burton. Well, we're gonna bring somebody else in. Uh, do I have to bring my own makeup too? He works for Barnum and Bailey. He's great though. His name's Roger. You're gonna love him. He's done some great work with some of the finest clowns around the world. Come on. Okay, things are going great so far. He hasn't done anything yet that makes me want to punch him in the neck. So things are, you know, we'll see. We'll see. He's gonna work out. Gosh. Yeah, Pete, this way. Yeah, I know it's tricky. You gotta one of these. Hi. Come out of makeup and one of these. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. Uh, wardrobe. Wardrobe. Let's go to wardrobe. Yeah. How was it? 
the elevators are right there. Yeah, those aren't for you yet. Not yet. Yeah. Okay, maybe next time. Come on. Okay, good. Steve finally made it. Uh, we are uh, at wardrobe. So let's, uh, I mean, you look, you, look, you look good now, but these people will make you look dead. I'd like to introduce you to Steve Burton. <laughs> this guy. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Steve, uh, he's, he's kind of a big deal, and he just joined our show, so uh, I was just kind of showing him around, making him feel comfortable. How do you feel so far? Oh, generally, of course. Okay. That looks, that's a comfortable face if I've ever seen one. Envisioning for uh, young Steve Burton here? I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm just kind of shot out of a cannon. Corduroy and a lot of tweed. Some, yeah, a lot of wool turtlenecks. Up here, you need something. Hold on one second. Just... This is a, it's a garment bag. Thanks, guys. They're great. I mean, they're so good at their job. Like I mean, really they're going to really do some nice. They're going to do some really nice stuff with you. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I've showed you everything you really need to know. Um, it's been one of my greatest honors welcoming you to our show. I'm not kidding. Well, thank you. And it's my deepest sign of appreciation. Uh, I it's like this I'm welcoming you into a gang. Normally, this is in a lot of gangs in California, they jump you in, which means they beat you up. But for me, I'm going to vest you This is a little tight. Well, well you know, okay. you, you could mix in a few salads. All right. Uh, so that's pretty much it, dude. Wow. And uh, viewers, I honestly cannot wait for you to see what this guy does January 29th. January 29th. January 29th. Things are going to happen. I didn't even watch this one yet. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the chat. Here Boom. we are. <laughs> Boom! Sit here with Josh. Bang! Josh Morrow, who plays, who do you play? I play uh, Christoph St. John. <laughs> he plays Nick Newman. Steve Burton, Steve Burton. plays Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> the rookie we are <laughs> on the Skype chat. So hopefully we can answer some of your questions today. At least more than one. Yeah. So uh, I will answer them. Steve will just sit here and look pretty because look at him. You want to hug it up? Let's get it started. Come All on, right, come thanks. on, get in here. All right, get in here. All right, good. Let's have a good one. All right, break. Dana H asks, if you weren't an actor, Josh, yeah, what would you be doing? Well, if I wasn't an actor, I would be a, a soap star. So no, no, that's uh, not even a real answer. Because <laughs> you're not even a soap star. Go. Someday I will be. Come on. Uh, if I wasn't an actor, Dana, I would. Uh, if I could prefer. I would be a professional baseball player, uh, but I would most likely be a teacher or a coach because I love uh, playing sports and I love teaching and coaching. So uh, it would have something to do with sports for sure. Steve would be a male nurse. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Alex, Alex I'll take ahead. this one. Okay, great. Alex, you, ta you take this one. Alex L. <laughs> asks, who would you most like to be stuck in an elevator with? No pressure here, hint, hint. Who, anyone on the cast, anyone at all? Oh, no, it doesn't say anyone. It doesn't say cast in there. Oh, I just made that up myself. Yeah, then, yeah uh, exactly. Cast. Who would you most like to be stuck in an elevator with? It's a good one. It's an interesting question. Hmm. I would have to say... <laughs> it's a 
good, it's a good moment here for Steve because he can go one of two routes. He can go like super scholarly and be like, oh yeah, like Plato. Or he could be like, yeah, like Kate Upton. You know, so big moment for you here. Who would you choose? Abe Lincoln. He went scholarly. See yeah. that? Yeah, I'd go with Seth Rogen. Here we go. Can't be asked, what was your very first acting job? This was my very first acting job. No, it wasn't. True. Yes. Really? Yeah. They snatched me right out of college for this job. Well, I don't know if it was college because I knew you back then. No, I was in college, dude. You weren't in college when I knew you here. No, I quit college the day I got this job. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in school. Stay yeah, in school. Stay, my uh, first acting job was a Coca-Cola commercial. Was it really? Yeah. Could you, the fans would love this. Can you recreate that? Yeah, I was on the Here. phone. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was without sound, and I was in a phone booth, kind of mm -hmm. just talking like right. this. Yeah, and, you know, just having That's to good. Like, I yeah. see why they hired you. See you see that? Yeah, that is great. natural. But see, rem remember, the hair used to actually cover the whole... The golden mullet? The whole thing. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. Beautiful. That was a good moment for us. <laughs> Tommy B. Who's the, the biggest prankster on set? Well... <laughs> it's uh listen it's it's some it's, guy with a black shirt on and a yeah. beard right now everybody else is a distant second that would be me it's yeah. a role that i take very seriously though uh i uh i consider it my job to act as the mayor slash uh you know comedic you know whatsoever so <laughs> <laughs> that was a good yeah. answer i'm gonna go with me oh thank yeah. you here's the story here's a question about this the show actually which is oh, great. Oh, that's what, okay. Mimi J asked, I wanted to go when back will, to you about your commercial when, background. Oh, when will Navery, is that what they do? Yeah, they combine them. They combine them. Yep. Okay, so what are we? Oh, oh no, no, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> We would be. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. We would be Richard. <laughs> when we, okay. We, <laughs> when will. We'd be. Sorry, you can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> Dude, Sorry. you're out of control. Yes. What will Davery say I love you to each other? Well, um, oh, that will be, uh, that's a that's a huge story, I know. Uh, you guys haven't uh, said I love you? Not yet, not yet. Really? It's a big, so you know. That, I'm probably going to stop that, right? Or Dylan is. Nillen, Dylan will, uh, he'll Did definitely. Did you say Nillen? Nillen. <laughs> Nick, Nick and Dylan. Uh, oh, man. I would assume that that will happen, um, well, who knows? Avery is going to have to deal with uh, Dylan coming back to town. So Great. I don't know who she's going to pick. Next question. She's Thank you gonna so much. She's either going to go with a, uh, a superstar ninja Thank you. or a guy who makes Coca-Cola okay. commercials. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Timothy T. Asks, Timmy T. I'm going to take this one because yeah. I know Timothy. Timothy, the, what up, T-Dog? My, my teasel. <laughs> How on earth do you memorize all that dialogue on a daily basis? Would you like to take this one, Steve Burton? Yeah, I guess that's a question that we get quite often because there is a lot of dialogue and a lot of pages. Mm -hmm. uh, the longer you do it, the easier it becomes. Um, for me, actually, coming to Y&R, now it's been a little more difficult because I really don't know the character yet. Like, you know, Josh, he barely looks at his lines at this point. Yep. So I'm sure you guys can tell that. I'm too, like when the, the rain man is. of daytime. I do wear... <laughs> underwear from Kmart <laughs> but you do you have to spend some time at night it's kind of it's actually a lot of time management with kids because Josh has kids I have kids and and uh, you just have to kind of pick your moments to to study your lines I used to do it while I was driving I don't really recommend that at all wow that is seems like that breaks like 12 laws you're driving memorizing your dialogue huh that yeah. is a terrible story <laughs> Uh, it wow. is a terrible story. Before then, it was a very rich and compelling answer, and then it just blew up when you... Wow, that Are there is any terrible. dream guest stars you would like from Noreen, D? Uh, any dream guest stars? Uh, <coughs> I don't know, like Richard Snuffleupagus? I don't we think it, get the Snuffleupagus think, in here? I don't think that's the actual name of that. So there's somebody playing the Snuffleupagus? No, I don't think it's what you're saying. I think it's actually different. It's pronounced differently. Oh, what is it? I, don't, I just don't think it's that. Snuffleupagus. I think it's Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus? Yeah, it's not Snuffleupagus. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me just all of a sudden you made call a somebody of great know, importance here. I don't here. know what you did. Steve Kent, how do you pronounce <laughs> Snuffleupagus? <laughs> Snuffleupagus. 
Yeah, it's like a hybrid of sniffle and esophagus. <laughs> Come on, Thank man. you. I don't know. <clears throat> Who and what is in your music playlist right now? Well, hold on. I really want to work with Denzel Washington. We, we didn't get the serious part of that. Okay. Denzel Washington or um, Kate Upton. <laughs> who and what is who, in your music playlist? Who and what right is now? in your music playlist right now, Steve? Well, actually, and this will be a shameless plug for my band Absolutely. named I, Port Chuck. Please. Um, that we're going to have to change the name to Young Chuck. Um, so, right now we've been rehearsing for four days. So that's all the songs I have in my playlist right now. 80s baby. It's 80s. all 80s music. Go to song like right now. Everyone's <laughs> going, Steve, Steve. They're doing the living wave. on a prayer. Living on a prayer. Yeah. Bang! That's Living it. on a prayer. Nice. That's it. What about you? I would go with Circle in the Sand by Belinda Carlisle. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just that's my go-to jam. It uh, Really? Yeah, it's, it's it, you know, it's it, it's evolved into this anthem for my life. And, uh, you know, wow. either get on board or get out. You know what I'm saying? Circle in the Sand. I thought it was going to be YMCA. Mm, no. Uh, Who is your favorite? What? Who is your favorite character on the show and why? Steve, this is a good chance for you to, to really establish some roots around here. I'm going to give you this question. No pressure. None at all. No pressure. Just pick a, who's your favorite character on the show and, and why. Um, it's definitely a Newman. Okay, good. I like where this is going. Yeah, it's definitely a Newman. A dashing Newman. Even better. This is, we're two for two right now. Yeah. And the answer would be? Victor. Are you okay? Just give me a second. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, uh, Next question. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Would you like your characters to be friends? Not really. Nope. No. Nope. Not as at far all, as I'm concerned. Actually. This is it. It's North time. and South Korea. I would rather not. Not gonna happen. Not, <laughs> yeah. Nope. No. What would the uh, demilitarized zone be? The CBS commissary? Okay. Good, good. Okay. Dottie R. <laughs> Josh, so I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Dottie, Naturally. Dottie R. Josh, will you and Phyllis get back together? Good question. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Nick is, and... Uh, uh, go ahead. Is it, Phil... Interject. Well, you know, I, I don't... Interrupt. Really, I don't really know every every character yet. Right. I've worked with... Phyllis is the Phyllis. redhead. Yeah, no, She's I worked tall. with her. I worked with her. Yeah, Is talented. her character crazy? Is Phyllis's character crazy? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, that <clears throat> is between you and me and all of you viewers. If Michelle Stafford ever asked if I said that, the answer is no. <laughs> okay. Um, Will you get back together? Maybe. A firm maybe. That's all I can co can come up with right now. There's still some story left to tell with with uh, Avery and uh, and Dylan, mm. too. But we'll okay. see. Don't give up, Fick fans. Don't give up. Circle in the sand. <laughs> what did you say? Corey F. Go ahead. I'll let you have this one. Tell us about your very first time you had a kissing scene. How'd it go? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who was it with? Oh, me and you? Our first kissing scene? <laughs> no. Um, we I, can't, yeah, I, have no I, I have no idea who so. it was with. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. We, we, uh, we've been in daytime a combined 49 years now. I think so. So yeah. I can't really remember who the first first person was, but it's a, it's a very interesting my process, actually. I think my first one was with Monica Potter. She was the first Sharon. Really? Yeah, and I think that was my very first... Daytime kissing scene. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I can't remember. Ex now she went off to have a very big film career. Yeah. Look what I did for her. Yeah. <laughs> she never even sent me a fruit plate. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, Steve, how do you feel about joining the cast of the best soap ever in existence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, listen, it's very nice to, uh, to join a number one show. Right? We are number one. Right. Forever. And we have the 40th coming up here. The right? 40th anniversary in, in, coming up. In March. And, uh, you know, it, if you're going to join a show, why not join a number one show? Exactly. Right? So it's, uh, in all seriousness, it's been a great experience here. Uh, CBS Daytime has, has really just 
welcomed me and the cast and the crew have been awesome and I know this guy jokes a lot but we've we've uh, we've had a we've had a lot of fun and uh, the cast has just been great it's been fun you've been a great addition Steve Burton thank you I cannot wait for this to stop getting so serious but you've been an amazing addition <laughs> fantastic and, uh, I actually have prepared a uh, like a, a a dance later for you that I will show Before, you on Skype no 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 that's just oh, okay. uh, it's, you know it's in your room well, he's more of the hallway. In the hallway, okay. Yeah, next to the wheel. You guys are... What? You, you guys, guys are in, in such, such good, good shape, really? Diana B. So you noticed? <laughs> what is your workout secret? Well, Josh trains with Richard Simmons. I do. I Still. sweat to the oldies. Still, he wears his I dolphin shorts. I bust short. my ass in dolphin shorts that are tangerine colored, and I sweat to those oldies. Uh, what do you do, Josh, to work out? Um, it's a lot of airbrushing, actually. Yep. They've just implemented a CGI. Trick with mirrors, a lot of smoke. A lot of CGI here on, yeah. on Young and the Restless. So um, we uh, work out a little bit here and there. I do a lot of yoga. I like to lift weights two or three days a week, and I play tennis. That's pretty much my, uh, my, uh, my program. How about you? Just two or three days a week working out, Jim. Yeah, you might want to mix in another day. Okay. Megan M. asks, how has fatherhood shaped how you play your characters. Well, Megan, um, I'll answer a serious question. Do it. I'm actually going to give a serious answer to Are you. Are you? Go ahead. Yeah. Really? At the si we're Completely. Really? It'll okay. be like a symbiotic, serious Here's the moment. thing, Megan. People always ask when, when we do, you know, highly emotional stories, how do you get to that point? Uh, everybody has their own, um, own process as an actor. But I'll tell you, becoming a father has... Uh, taken that to a whole new level for me because it's it's just it it changes something in your life and in you to have kids and it's really helped me actually act because um emotionally i can be more available more vulnerable and um it's just really actually made it a lot easier for me to do those types of scenes now uh, than it used to be great <clears throat> he actually took my answer pretty much verbatim <laughs> Uh, except for the vulnerable part. I don't do that. I'm like an old, wooden, sturdy ship. I'm never vulnerable. Okay. Jesse L. asks, what are some similarities and differences between you and your character? I have a uh, sidebar to this question after you answer this one. Well, I'm, I don't know my character yet, so I really don't I know. I do. He's kind of creepy so far. <laughs> but do you... He's a bit of a stalker. Yeah, he's he? just, just staring at people in the corner. I mean, yeah, it's awesome. It's like, hey, Dylan, <laughs> take it down a notch. Um, I'll tell you, uh, me and Nick uh, are very uh, similar, actually. I, in fact, I don't even know if I'm acting anymore. It's just, I just come in here and act like a donkey and... Uh, They've accepted that that's who Nick is now. I mean, you notice they, I don't that's even amazing. work at Newman Enterprises. They're like, let's get this guy out of the, uh, the office. Put him in the tack house. Let's put him in a bar. Uh, yeah. Um, that's great. You're a bar, I'm a bartender. What you're a bartender. I'm your boss. In fact, why don't you go make me a white Russian right now? No, I want a, a ripcord. I want a ripcord. <laughs> no. I want Dude. a sex so on the beach a, wait, here's a, with a straw and a pineapple. Just settle down. Just, just settle down. Listen. Here's a funny thing. <laughs> so, so we have, are we out of time yet? No, we yeah. got 14 minutes. Aren't you so lucky yeah. to have us for 14 more minutes? So let's just keep, keep this thing going till like <laughs> next Tuesday. Can we do 24 just hours? again. We'll look like Tom Hanks and like Castaway, just um, like answering right. questions. So, so we, we, in the script, I'm supposed to make a ripcord, right? <laughs> so, oh man. So stupid, man. <laughs> Dude, you're wasting everybody's valuable moments. But you let him let him get himself together here. Let's ask for another question, and then what we'll do is we'll go back to Steve. <laughs> Steve and Susie composes himself. He's literally falling apart. <laughs> We've lost him. It's okay. I finally got what I wanted. It was to do this by myself. <laughs> uh, Jessica oh, H S. <laughs> What is the most challenging part oh, gosh. about keeping Nick amazing. fresh after nearly 20 years? I think I saw this exact tweet this morning. Oh, okay. Is that right, Jessica H? Is that right? <sighs> anyway, um, you know what? To me, I don't really have to, to worry about that because I actually really love uh, the character I play. I really, uh, I have a good time with him. He's a good dude. You laughing at me because I love who I play? 
whatever, man. That's, where's the support? I feel like I'm, okay. Great, Judas. Uh, <laughs> I love who I play, man. I love my job. I'll tell anybody that. Steve is literally falling apart. He's in a pool of his own sweat right now. Listen, Jess Gage, I love, I love Nick. I'd be friends with him. He's a good dude, and uh, I love who I play, and I don't want to play anyone else. So for me, it's easy because I just love life and love my job, and I don't really need to worry about keeping things fresh because I'm fresh all the time. Sorry for being so unprofessional today. Oh, gosh. Melody B asks, what's going to be in store? <laughs> Can sto we go back to the ripcord? Please. Are you ready? I think I'm ready now. Steve oh, Burns ready gosh. for this. There's been a lot of build up to this. this I hope is, it lives up to well, its, its expectations. Not, it's, it's not going to, actually, at all. So we have the ripcord, and here I am, a you know special ops army guy. Yep. And I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm making you a drink. <laughs> Bright red. <laughs> That's pink. <laughs> It's like, oh, I served this in Fort Bragg. Can you imagine this guy's pouring a freaking pink drink? The whole yeah, because I just came in from Iraq, and all I want is a bright a pink, pink ripcord. Rip cord. <laughs> How about, couldn't you give me some other color? Yeah. Make How about like a screaming Viking? But no, it's a bright red. All right, okay. anyway, we're back. I'm What's going to be in store for Dylan and Nick? Both fighting for Avery's love. I tell you, that Avery is one lucky gal. I know, it's actually... The story's been great. Well, it mostly... It, it has been. Yeah, it's more, for, more great for you. It's been what good. do you mean? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's been... It's actually been great. It's been a great story yeah. uh, so far, and I think it's great for Jessica because she's kind of in the middle, and she's going to have to pick. Yeah, um, of two titans of love. And uh, it's just... It's really written well. Yeah. And so. how, how great is working with Jessica? <laughs> great. She's a home run. It's been great. She laughs at everything I say, <laughs> literally everything I say. And to me, that is uh, it's my deepest form of appreciation. You okay. both have performed in musical groups. Mm -hmm. Three Deep here. Mm -hmm. Do you still perform with Three Deep? No, we, uh, we retired because we all got old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and married. Any plans on forming your own band? You and me? Just take it on the road, dude. Like... Like a weird, like uh, like a what weird gonna, tango and cash, you know. Just kind of, I'll play like the. Uh, you be you can be, you can be the Indian. I'll be the Indian who plays like a pan flute, and you be uh, you be kind of like the the weird Icelandic guy that plays like a harmonica. And we'll just take this on the road. We'll get like a like a like a vanigan and fill it full of Capri Suns and orange wedges and just tour the country. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Matt W., is that the guy who works upstairs? Probably, okay. yeah. <laughs> you both have performed... Oh, that's... <laughs> what, what do you enjoy doing when you are not working? What do you do with your free time? I coach my kids in sports pretty much every day, all day. Yeah. And uh, uh, I put together those, uh, those ships and bottles. Just, you know, delicate. Look at these hands. I spend as much time as I can with my wife and kids when I'm not working. I spend a lot of time with Steve's wife, too. Next question. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I just crossed the line. Have I, you ever been headbutted? Uh, don't, don't say that around here. <laughs> You're new here. You're new. Don't say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Got uh, it. Let me just get are, HR let's, on the phone. Let, let's, get, let's get over What it. is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you on set? You haven't really been here long enough to have super embarrassing things happen to you, right? No. No? Yeah. Um, for myself, the most embarrassing thing was one day we, I had to, we were, uh, me and Sharon Case were these, like, these Polynesian king and queens of this dance Did in high school. Did you dress that way? Yeah, man. It was awful. Oh, I had this horrifying. giant... Headdress of like uh, bananas and coconuts and see, they uh, think that's funny. A grass skirt. It was t horrifying, <laughs> just horrifying. Hopefully they don't bring that back. Oh my lord, <clears throat> terrible. Who has been the most? Jeff B. Jeff B. asks who has been the most inspirational figure in your life. Uh, inspirational. I would honestly have to say <laughs> the most inspirational person in my life would would have to be my. Wife. Oh, come on. You can't take my answer, dude. 
I went first. I have seniority. Right. My the wife most in inspirational inspires figure, me. figure in my life is, is your is, wife. Is, Toby is the most <laughs> inspirational figure in Steve's life, too. She's that <laughs> inspiring. Uh, my wife just, uh, she just makes me want to be a better human. Yeah. And that, to me, is... That's inspiring. I couldn't do anything I do without my wife. And I tell her pretty much three days a week. <laughs> do you? Yeah, I say thank yeah, you because yeah. I couldn't do what I do if yeah. it wasn't for her holding down the fort with the kids and making everything yeah. perfect for I them, tell so. my wife like five <clears throat> times a week, so that means she's she's Yeah, but that's some, some of it's text, though. Do you text? Oh, text yeah. Don't count. No, I you use, have to actually look at somebody. Oh, I use uh, yes. nautical C. Semaphore. I also use. <laughs> is uh, that a word, or did you make that one? No, up? semaphore is a word, okay, and uh, you carry your pigeons. Um, how will you be celebrating Valentine's Day? Oh, I'm about to get booed from every woman in the world. Me and my wife don't celebrate Valentine's Day. And I'm a. Ah, boo. Uh, unfortunately, I'll be on tour, so I'll be on a bus with uh, 13 men. Yep, smelly men drinking. And he'd be right at home. Beer. There. Yeah. I would love. I actually would love to just like. Do you like watching gladiator movies? Do you uh, like it when a dog rubs up and down on your leg? <laughs> okay. Um, Josh, what's the Dude, craziest thing? Are we gonna have a job after today? I will. You are in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I am bulletproof. <laughs> I don't what know. What's the craziest? <laughs> I don't know. Craziest thing you think your character has done over the years, Laura? Laura, this might be Laura upstairs too. Yeah, the whole is, upstairs yeah. office is like chiming in. Uh, well, because there's only four people on Skype right now. <laughs> we lost them after the first two minutes. These guys are donkeys. Um, the craziest thing my character's done over the years is probably um, not so delicately move from Phyllis to Avery, back to Phyllis, and then back to Avery. It's like Nick can't pick a summer's woman. I mean, uh, and uh, I think if this happened in real life... Oh, they're sisters? Yeah. Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, okay, we just that's opened the eyes. what's going on yeah. here. Uh, I think if that happened in real life, you'd be reading about uh, Nick on the news. He'd be dead <laughs> by samurai sword. Uh, so that's the craziest thing, I yeah, think. Phyllis does look like she'd boil a rabbit. She, yeah, she, she will not be ignored, Dan. Do you have any projects coming up that we can look forward to? Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll see. I have some projects coming up, but they're not for sure yet. Um, and I've talked about it at length, and I'm really tired of talking about it until we're we sign the deal. So We're tired of hearing um, about it. Are you? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> That's what I figured. <laughs> okay, um, thanks. Next question. For, I'm actually going to be Josh. in uh, ET2 uh, <laughs> next year. Steven Spielberg, a good friend of mine. We're we're Facebook friends. He uh, asked me to be in ET2. Who are you uh, playing next year? I'm going to play ET's weird old uncle. <laughs> His name is JR. Okay. Uh, what TV shows other than Weinar do you like? Ooh, good question. Mm, well, I don't really watch a lot of TV except for ESPN, uh, which is you know always on, and. Uh, that's pretty much I watch a lot it. of TV. Uh, I watch uh, Walking Dead is my favorite show that has ever been made, ever, on anything. I'm a ginormous fan. Game of Thrones, Homeland. You don't watch any of those? I don't watch any Those are TV. three fantastic television shows. Right. I'm also the biggest Survivor fan in the world. Are you? Yeah, I love is it. Is this still on? It is still on, man. Wow. And um, what cool. else do I watch? The Ultimate Fighter, The Office, Parks and Recreation. I watch a lot yeah. of TV. Too much. Yeah. Too much. Maybe The Voice. I'll watch The Voice every now and then. That's embarrassing. Don't ever say you that. You don't again. like that? No. No. Do you no. watch The Bachelor? You see the <laughs> No, dude. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Can you impersonate any other YNR characters or actors? I don't know where it is, the son. You go, man. Uh, what are you doing? You take a, I built this company from the ground up. I, uh, Are you okay, you, dude? You're a punk. <laughs> That was my weird attempt at, at Victor Newman. Yeah, that, yeah. that wasn't really good. That wasn't very good? No. no. What? What'd you say, Dad? No, that wasn't yeah. really, really good at all. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, Steve Burton. Shut your mouth. You better shut your face. If Nick you had one last meal, what would it be? Ooh. Oh, man. That's a good one. I love food. 
serious. What's your, I'd what's your go-to meal? I'd have to say steak and lobster. Yeah? Yeah, I'd have to say that. I would say a grilled cheese sandwich with some french fries and a root beer. Yeah, I like, fri I like the fries, too. Yeah, yeah. that's my yeah. favorite meal. You know, when you actually took me to lunch over there? Mm-hmm. You didn't like it? No, I got to tell you. But we won't say who, what it was. Really? <laughs> but it wasn't really... You built it up so much that it really wasn't good. Really? Yeah. That is completely surprising is it? to me. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to tell you right away because... You didn't want to hurt my feelings. You paid. It meant so much to me. And I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Well, I mean, we, uh, there was some, you know, it was a great lunch. We, we laughed. We cried. We, thought, we shared what I thought was a, a beautiful meal together, and apparently it didn't live up well, to... Well, I think that was our last meal together. Uh, it pretty much was. Nah. Let's have some waffles tomorrow. Penny S. asks, Josh, what do you think happened to Nick in boarding school? Well, I, I have a good... What do you yes. mean? What do you mean, Penny S.? <laughs> What, did something happen to him there? Is that a story? We need to get I the writers know. on the phone. I honestly, I don't know what you're that talking about. That is a about. writer. Penny S is a writer? <laughs> yeah. what, what do I think happened to him in boarding <clears throat> school? I think he just came home and wanted to get some chicks. That's all I think. So, okay, next question. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know, Penny. I'm so Thank sorry. You. I don't, if you could I, be any cl classic, C if you could be on any CBS television show, what would it be and why? Mm. <clears throat> Interesting. I think they should let us host like one of the game shows. Do you? Would you like to do that? Well, not really, but would you? I absolutely would. I, I think we could do that. Yeah, I would fun. like to get a mic and just and just kind of no holds barred. Just let me have it. You know, I don't want to be scripted. So you don't want to share? Oh no, I would share with you. Okay. And then we'd not go to where I took you to lunch the other day. <laughs> okay. Clearly, it was awful. Okay. Uh, classic CBS television show. Well, if I if, can, to somebody me, text me the lineup real quick so I can pick. <laughs> Classic. Was um, you know what I've always wanted is oh no I don't know. Oh, what we have happened. one minute. One minute left. Go. You've been wasting our time, Steve. <laughs> Go. What's your favorite? Er, Rick oh. R. Rick Ross. I love your music, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. What's your favorite sport to play and watch? Go ahead. Favorites football. My Hands favorite down. sport to Hands watch down. is football. Watch it. My yes. favorite sport to play is definitely basketball. Yeah. Definitely. That was a nice, clean, that quick was perfect. answer. Uh, we should just, you we didn't should waste, just uh, machine you didn't waste, gun these answers. Let's you didn't go. waste uh, anyone's time. Come on. Are we going? Are they okay. cutting us off? What are you guys doing to us? You know what? One more? No? E. They're like, two, we don't have is anybody else to yeah. ask. Let's call upstairs. Um, All right, that was the last person who was on Skype, and now yeah, they have signed off. Movie. I'm gonna do the rest of the interview like this. <laughs> and now he has become the cop from Village People with those glasses. Can I see some ID? <clears throat> so, uh, Steve, will you Dylan, take a picture of me? Or, yeah, sure. Thanks. It was yeah. Mac with Dylan. Yeah. He was. I don't know. I never seen him. Go cool. tweet that. Nice. I'm gonna tweet that. All right. What's your favorite? Yeah. Uh, final question: Niners or Ravens? Of course. <laughs> Well, I'm going with the Niners. What about you? Going the Ravens. Are you? Let's bet lunch. It, it, not where we took you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lunch. What, what's it? Is it a pick 'em? No, it's Ravens but plus three. But I'm. Oh, it is. Yeah. I'm gonna make it pick 'em and to be sporting. Okay. Lunch anywhere we want. Right. I'm taking the Ravens. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Hope you had as much fun as as we did. And uh, tune in to Young and the Restless. Number one show, 40th anniversary, the one and only Nick Newman. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy, he's on dude. Thanks. Yeah. On the camera. So what's this about? It says, young Steve Burton and Joshua Moore on live chat, where everybody's commenting and they're spinning that many a time. You can listen to it, but it's already recorded it. And I'm going to ask you.
Cool James, cool photo of Kim. Maybe you don't know, but you're the one doing magic tricks on YouTube. With your brother Brandon and our, your friend James. Yeah. Brandon is following you, Bill Page. He's following me, but okay. That's good that he's following me. He's following. Which is good, there's nothing wrong with that.
about I'm funny, I'm retarded, I'm crazy, I'm the best person you'll ever meet. I think I hope so. I get I get all of my head you stupid was a uh, guy in the back and saying the brain everyone does Okay bye. Lives in government lives in Governor New York, born on June eighth, nineteen ninety four in Mail. Graduated from Governor High School, born on June eighth, nineteen ninety four. And see, he didn't put a boy hat, he put a girl hat. Governor Junior Senior High. He was being funny. Places, places lived. No, see Virginia. And there. No, oh, he's got a lot of covers in mind too. Mm -hmm. Let's see what his likes are. Robots. That's what that is. The Wayne. Ping me the horizon. AFI. Two way stream. Books. Leon. Just posted on it. Skateboarding activities. Skateboarding. BMX freestyle. Probably a video there. Interest. BMX bass guitar.
easiest way to catch and store bait. Plus, you get Rowan Martin's secret fishing tips, a Learn to Fish DVD, and tackle. That's everything you see here for two payments of $19.95. Here's how you can order. You can call 1-800-304-4581. That's 1-800-304-4581. The Rocket Fishing Rod is two payments of $19.95 for a total of $39.90 plus $8.99 shipping and handling. You must be 18 or older to order. I am fire. I am grass. I am water. My favorite move, fire spin. Razor leaf. Bubble beam. I am Charmander. I am Turtwig. I am Piplup. You can team up battle and explore with over 490 Pokemon in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. Rated E for everyone. Discover your inner Pokemon. The shadow of Gotham. People are afraid of it. Villains hide in it. But its champion was born from it. Magnificent. The time has come for evil to fear the night. Batman, the animated series. Weekend nights at 6.30, 5.30 Central. Vengeance. No. Justice. Yes. We're celebrating Earth Day every day. Go green with the Toon Disney Jetix and Viral Olympics. Don't miss a new challenge next Sunday night with new competitors. Who's going to be this week's in Viral Olympic hero? But there's more. It's a marathon of heroes saving the planet. Ready. The newest Power Rangers have captured the spirit of the jungle. Spirit unleashed. Three straight hours of Power Rangers Jungle Fury, including a brand new episode. Catch Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Sunday night at 6, 5 central. Part of the Toon Disney Jetix and Viral Olympics. And now back to our big movie week of heroes. It's all part of the Toon Disney Genix and Viral Olympics. We had it working. A synthetic intelligence as smart as any spy. Could you go ahead and tighten that brain up? Free the third brain system. The OSS director realized it was too dangerous if the wrong forces found the technology. We were ordered to destroy it. Why keep that a secret from me? To protect us from something you destroyed? Or something you didn't? <laughs> All these secrets from me, from the children. the brain. If we save our children, we risk the world. So what in the world do we do? Thanks for taking us this far, but this is all we got. What are we doing here? Dad's code name must be Ombres. So, this must be Machete. We're getting help from Dad's best man. Smallest camera. I don't see it. Ah, but it is you. You saw counterintelligence stuff here? Come back with your parents. We can't. We need something fast. It can get us here. Who are you? Garvin Elizabeth Juanita Echo Sky Bravo Cortez. <laughs> Gregorio Cortez is our father. You were at his wedding. You will turn around. You will leave my shop. Because I never want to hear my brother's name mentioned again. You're our uncle? A real uncle? Swear I got a fake uncle. Gregorio Cortez is my younger brother. President's daughter. President's son of joy. Prime Minister's son, General's daughter. And they're all here, as planned. I have to get back to my show now. You must focus on the task at hand. 
We have to prepare the army before Mr. Lisp arrives. I don't believe in this anymore, Minion. I don't think I ever did. Explain. The mutated agents, the robot kids, those aren't my ideas, they're yours. So what? Well, I think that's why they're not working. Not yet, they're not. But you see, I now have the third brain. I don't need you anymore. Minion? I assure you, it's Mr. Minion now. And you, Bloop, have served your purpose. Children, lock him in the... virtual room. <gasps> You're a secret agent, aren't you? What makes you say that? According to the database, you're always traveling. And no one knows what you do for a living. <laughs> I think we all have uncles like that. Another fire machete product. You make the best spy inventions in the world. That's correct. Yeah, but you sell them to both sides, good and bad. That's why Dad hasn't spoken of you in all these years. Ever sell stuff to Floop? Why? Our mom and dad, your brother, are his prisoners. And if we don't do something to help, something really bad's gonna happen to him. I don't see why you won't help him. You think I want to babysit my brother the rest of my life? Watch out for Gregorio. Take care of Gregorio. Make sure Gregorio knows right from wrong. Not anymore. Machete's not responsible for nobody but Machete. But that's not what family is. We're just brothers. Cain and Abel were brothers. Look how they ended up. Now, the only thing that'll get you to Floop's castle fast enough is this. It's tiny. It's built for one passenger, but it's fast. Will you go? No. For your brother? No. Then how about for us, your niece and nephew? No. No, 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 a million times no. Pass the pig intestine. Oh, I'm not eating that now. Nope. Can I have a... No. Glass of water? Thank you for letting us stay here while we ponder our parents' terrible fate. If you want a Cortez, you wouldn't be doing this much. So family does mean more to you than... misses you, too. Ready? Let's go. Now we're talking. What are you doing getting them at the Bloops castle? an adult to do a kid's job. Here's the new plan. We 
get to the castle, rescue mom and dad, then somehow stop Cliff from using the brain on the robots before they're sent out to dominate the world. Think we can do that? How hard could it be? I didn't do anything! Okay, airspeed, fine. Altitude, fine. Autopilot, failing! Oh, great, another fine machete product. Take control. We have to go to man. Where's my mom and dad? to our big movie week of heroes. It's all part of the Toon Disney Genix and Viral Olympics. Now that you move like a woofoo, you have to look like a woofoo. Woo fight! That's what I call mouthing off. Keep an eye on that one. Yin Yang Yo. Weekends at 4.30, 3.30 Central on Genix. Houseplants make your home look beautiful. But having to water them all the time can be a big job. Forget to water them, and they can end up looking like this. Give them too much water, and you can end up with a big mess. Well, now, there's Aqua Globes, the hand-blown glass ornament that waters your plants for you. All you do is fill the Aqua Globe with water, then press it into the soil. That's it. Your plant stays perfectly watered for up to two weeks, and you don't have to lift a finger. Here's why. As soil becomes dry, it releases oxygen into the Aqua Globe which in turn releases the exact amount of water your plant needs. You can't overwater, you can't underwater. Such a simple solution, yet so beautiful. Each Aqua Globe is individually crafted with genuine hand-blown glass to create a functional work of art that waters the plant for you. Perfect for small or large house plants, hanging plants, patio plants, even finicky exotic plants get just the right amount of water. Just fill the Aqua Globe with water, then press it into the soil. It's that easy. No more constant watering or cleaning up the spills. No more worrying about leaving your plants unattended. No more dried out, drooping, or dying plants. Aqua Globes take the guesswork and the worry out of watering your plants once and for all. Call now and get a set of two Aqua Globes for just $14.99. One in red and one in blue. But call right now and we'll double the offer and give you two more Aqua Globes. 